Hey you guys, it's Maya here and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, don't be shy. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome back. So, it's actually a gloomy evening. A Monday evening to be exact, but I have to pick up some things from Target, return some things to Nike, so I thought, why don't I pick up the camera and do a little bit of vlogging, you know, it's been a while. Also, you know, the raindrops are reflected on me, so I'm like, why is there so much discoloration? But it's just the raindrops. Let me turn the camera around. See? A dark and gloomy Monday. <laughs> so, of course, I didn't, like, check the weather. Oh, I checked it, but I didn't notice that it was really raining, but it's a light drizzle. So hopefully by the time I'm out of the store, it'll be less drizzling. But look, the sky kind of looks cool. I'm on my drink. Thank me later. What? I hope I said the right album name. <laughs> All right, let's go. See how that car just didn't let me go through? Rude people, I tell you. And I caught that on camera. Okay, so I would have vlogged at Nike, and I don't know if you guys can hear me, but first of all, it was too packed for it to be a Monday night. And second of all, why did I have to ask somebody, could they please stand six feet away from me? There's signs on the floor for a reason. I'm just saying. <sighs> but yeah, next on to the next floor. How cute these bags are. I love the pastel colors. And I think I saw a few more down. I finally found the native brand. I'm looking for their deodorants though. Hmm, I'm trying to see which one. They have a charcoal one. So I'm editing this video and I decided why not let you guys know how this deodorant actually went. I picked up the eucalyptus mint. This is my second time trying the native deodorants and it's a no for me dog. Um, at first I'm thinking it's working but then I just don't be smelling as fresh as I usually do with my other deodorants. But I do have to admit that the lilac body wash, I do like that so that's a plus. Let me figure out which one I want and they also have body wash here too. Time for a new toothbrush. I'm not ready to go digital yet though, so I'm trying to find a really nice one that's like manual. Gotta re up on my allergy meds. Do you see these prices? Do you see how much these allergy pills cost? This is what us seasonal allergy people go through. Each season, this is where our money goes. <laughs> okay. Back from Target, I got one more stop on my day of adventure, like it's <laughs> day of errands, so that's what I'm about to do and then head home. But I just am reflecting on the fact that, again, you guys are gonna have to excuse the raindrop shadows on my face, but oh well. It's low-key expensive to be a girl, might I add. All the things that I got today basically were, um, what do you call it, like hygiene and stuff like that, like deodorant, toothbrushes, yada yada. And um, not to say that I don't have those at home, but you know when it's time to restock, like re-up, that's kind of what I had to do from Target. And I find that Target has the best options for things like that, so I got a few things that I'm excited to try. New brands, because hey, why not? Life is short. And um, yeah. Two weeks later. So right now I'm parked outside of Dollar Tree because I have to pick up a few things because I'm going to be crafting today. Um, I went to Blink the other day to pick up some materials, uh, but I didn't get everything. So that's why I'm going to Dollar Tree to see if I can get more things. But I'll insert the clips of the things that I got right now. Flashback. So right now I'm about to go to the art supply store to get a couple of things. I'm going to work on a project, which I'll... Hopefully you'll be able to record for you guys so you can see the final result. I'll reveal it a little bit more once I get all the things, or hopefully get all the things that I have. Come along for the ride, because we got a lot of things to do. Ever, 
end of flashback. Okay, so let's see what Dollar Tree has. I'm not sure if I want to film in Dollar Tree only because sometimes it's crowded and <sighs> I'm just not a fan of crowds if it is crowded. So we'll see. But regardless of if I film inside or not, I'll give you guys a haul after I get some items from Dollar Tree. So let's see what Dollar Tree has. Okay, so I am back home now. I have all of my items that I need for this arts and crafts. So now it's time to explain what I'm about to do. I'm planning to decorate um, a bottle of Hennessy for my boo's birthday. Cause you know, the big two five. Um, and I've seen people having like, you know, fancy bottles like that are decorated in glitter. Um, you know, on Instagram on social media etc so one i thought that way fun arts and crafts for me to do something that doesn't involve sitting in front of a computer you know something that i could just mindlessly do and also it could be a nice you know i guess you call it like a momentum or like you know just a fun gift to give somebody for a big birthday so let's get into it oh and also before i get to it i think i was trying to show you guys my shirt when I went to Dollar Tree, so this is my shirt. It says Lil Kim. I'm gonna throw shade if I can't get paid. I love it. I love the green. And fun fact, for this past Halloween, so Halloween 2020, um, I actually wanted to be a version of Lil Kim in this video crush on you, but the yellow hair version. So I think that's also what inspired me to get this t-shirt. But most importantly, I wanted to support a black owned business. So that's what I did. So. so number one, of course, we got the Henny. This is the bottle that I'll be decorating. This is, I think it's the um, 750 milliliter. Next, I bought some, what is this called? It's not a paintbrush, but it's like a sponge from, and this is what I was looking for in Dollar Tree because this is what I'm gonna use to add glue onto the bottle. This is a four ounce bottle of glitter in the color blue because that's his favorite color. And then, and then I got some Mod Podge. So this is gonna work as the glue to attach the glitter to the bottle. And then it also is gonna act as a sealant. I think it says on here, water-based glue sealer and finish so it's gonna work double time and it's also in four ounces i'm thinking this will be enough for reference this is the bottle of hennessy and this is a tiny bottle of glitter but if need be i can always go back to the store and then lastly i ordered these stencils from etsy i don't remember the price but it was less than four dollars so i've actually been loving etsy more and more lately um because i love the personalized gifts that they can create the creators on there or business owners on there that they create. So what I did was look up on YouTube first, how do people even make these glitter bottles? And then um, one of the, I guess, personalization aspects is that label. Now what I could have done is taken a label, found it on the internet and like try to redo it myself, but honestly, I just want to save myself some time. As soon as I purchased it, um, the owner contacted me just to confirm my information. I said yes. And then like literally within a few days, the PDF was sent. So it was sent in a PDF and then I printed out on my own. So I think that is a win-win. So this is the show, The Circle, um, all about social media and who's rated the best. So far it's been a good like weekend show. Okay, so I ended up taking tape and just trying to cover the label so that um, it comes out shiny because I use the uh, Mod Podge in order to glue on the paper. 
So I didn't want to, you know, get messy or for it for you to be able to see the old label behind it. So I just put tape over it so that it could stay secure. So now onto the fun part. That's why I, why I wanted to just talk in between here. I got my glitter and my Mod Podge and um, I debate if I want to go with this big sponge versus the little sponge. Hopefully this comes out nice. <laughs> You guys it's been hours later I think and um, I finally finished coating the whole bottle with blue glitter if I didn't have such perfectionist tendencies this would have been done much sooner but I'll show you guys what it looks like now I am gonna go ahead and add a final coat of the Mod Podge to have a sealant so that you know when it's being picked up the glitter is not like flying everywhere so it can just set in place. So I actually ended up finishing the circle while I was, you know, adding the glitter to the bottle. So that explains maybe why it took a little long time to do it and I actually moved on to the nanny. Foot like a bloody lackey for the glory, sir. And I was be cracking jokes all the Would time. You look at the big Morgan Han and high school. The following day hey guys so it's the next day um it's giving very much congested right now but bear with me i just wanted to show you guys the final product so are you ready so this is what it's looking like i added the mod podge on top so now the glitter is not like you know sticking or falling out and i think it came out really nice it's not perfect like i have a little bubble where the tape was but it's not that noticeable so i hope he likes it and yeah so that is the final product i am overall happy with how it came out i think i mentioned before it did take a little longer than i anticipated but that's okay i had the time to spare all right guys that's all i have for now i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe be well and remember to live life unfiltered